Nine, yeah. Well, actually, no, that's kind of a lie. Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Allen Harris, and I am one of the resident playwrights with Broken Nose Theater Company. <laughs> I think what's important to me as a writer is what's always been important to me. How do these stories get bigger? How do they get wilder? How do they, how does it, how can like with every story I do something I've never done before? And getting hired. <laughs> That's what's important. But I didn't like take playwriting seriously until 2009 because I had um, come from uh, doing a tour in Greece. And so I was like left in like kind of this artistic void of like what to do with myself. And I was like, well, what am I going to do? And I was like, oh, let me try to like write these voices down in my head. And then I gave my play to my acting professor, uh, Tom Mila, who's also a playwright. And he was like, okay, I'll read it. And he came back a week later. He was like, you're a playwright, keep doing this. And that was it. <laughs> As an actor, uh, my first time was in the play, um, and you know, I was it was actually like the first professional job I had gotten like outside of school. And like you know, we did the show, went about our separate ways, and I was like, oh, I still like these guys. I hope we get to work with them again. And then what I remember, what was really special about like you know the paper trail, it was like you know the encouragement to write the play I wanted to write. We had the um, the reading. And then um, we put it away for a while. And then, you know, Ben just called me one day after our, I probably like moved to New York probably about a week. And it was like, hey, so um, we were just thinking, you know, what if we did Kingdom? I was like, of course, why not? You know, it's interesting that like, you know, this company that was like, you know, my first like, professional job was now like an artistic home for me was like, you know, with Paper Trail with Kingdom. Um, was what I definitely remember was that like, oh, like this wasn't just a gig, this was like a family you've got for life. <laughs>